All right, everyone, welcome back to another great episode. I've got a good video today. Are we in the bear market? Are we not in the bear market? Are we in the bull market? What What is Bitcoin even doing? What is happening right now? I'm going to try to answer all those questions and more. So please stick around, guys. I got a good one for you today. All right. So the first couple things I want to get into is where are we go. Actually, no. That's wrong. The first thing I want to get into is, yes, I'm an Iowa fan. Yes, we got our asses kicked. And, uh, yes, we're going to get Michigan um, next year, October October 1st or October 2nd. You just wait. Iowa's going to get their revenge. They beat us. They're better than us. So what? I'm still repping Iowa. I live and die by the Hawkeyes. So for anybody who's out there and an Iowa fan, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. For anybody who's a Michigan fan, why don't you get off the channel and go ahead and watch your stupid college football playoff game. Eh, you're probably going to lose to Georgia anyways. Actually, I hope you win because I like the Big Ten. Anyways, that's my frustration for the day. So let's get into these charts, all right? I've got a couple charts pulled up that I do want to go over. This is going to be one that I don't see a lot of YouTubers go over. Um, why? I don't know. This is one I like to look at. So I'm actually going to go over the five-year chart. Yeah, I see you, you heard it right. Five-year chart by Bitcoin. I want to show you something that I noticed recently, okay? So we're on the Qcoin chart here. I like using this one. So this is five years. So we've got uh, right here, what are we looking at here? About 3,800. This is kind of the start of that 2017, 2018 bull run, okay? It crashes down, right? That really doesn't matter to me, but you're going along, you're seeing um, trends, and you're seeing the bear markets and blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of where we're at right now, right? We're actually sitting right here right now today at about 49,000. That's where we're at. Here's a couple things that I want to go over is that, the of course, the another pandemic variant, right? So in April-ish, March is when the Delta variant started showing up. And I don't even know if I can say it, but I have to. Started showing up in... Uh, the United States a little bit, right? And then you saw Bitcoin's price hit on on April 5th hit 64,000. So that was a crazy all-time high. And then it plummeted over 50% um, over the next two and a half, three months down to about 32,000, 31,000. I think, I think it even wicked below 30,000, all right? That's three months of it just dropping like a rock. Next thing that happened was now it started to climb right here so we're climbing back up we're making these uh we're making these gains kind of doing what it usually does and getting back up to 40 remember 64,000 still hit and then obviously as you guys know in early october on in early november we hit again about 68,000 right so on uh november 1st we hit 68,000 and right now we are jump, jumping back down to about 49,000. That's kind of where we're stabilizing. We did have this one wick below, but wasn't a close or anything like that to about 40,000. I honestly still believe that we've still got more room to go down. I don't think we're in a bear market, and here's why I don't think. I think everybody is screwing up the honest timelines, and I'm just going to get out of this view just for a second, but I think the timeline is a little bit screwed up for this bull run because of the pandemic pandemic and everything everybody was dealing with. We had crashes that we weren't used to having crashes. We had spikes when we weren't used to having spikes. We had a lot of... Um, uh, inflation and a lot of money getting pumped into this economy, making things go up and go down, uh, when really I don't know how artificial that was or how realistic that was, and probably a little bit of both with trying to get us out. So I see, in just my own personal opinion, that's all I can give you, is that I think this is going to go on a lot longer than people think. I honestly think we're going to have another dip here for maybe another week or so. I could see it going back up mid-December, you know, you got the holidays, whatever, but I see it going back up to maybe 75, even 80K. I could see it then dipping back down to another 45,000, 50,000, somewhere in that range, and then have one more final run up before we actually truly get into the bear market and we see these altcoins go crazy. That's just my own personal opinion. I've said that since day one. Again, I've only been in crypto for, it'll be a year, January 1st now, but I've really only been studying it for the last six to eight months. And just studying these charts are, are amazing to me because there's so much information you can get out of them and nothing has been like it, nothing we've ever experienced has done uh, what we've had to go through in the last two to three years. And that's why I think this is going to be more of a continuation and you're going to see even more up and down of this price action. Going through that, here's a couple things that I want to go over. The new variant, whatever it's called now, some, it sounds like a, uh, what does it sound like? A, uh, 
of something out of Transformers, like a car that transforms or something. But anyways, right? So it's in 38 countries right now. It's all over the United States. It's going to go everywhere. Wait for it. But zero deaths reported. It is, um, it is more contagious, but way less lethal than any other variant. So they're thinking that this could be the one to get us herd immunity. Who knows? This is just stuff I hear, um, you know, the, the big wigs with glasses and all this stuff say that are way smarter than me that I'm just paying attention to. So again, is it true? Is it not true? I have no idea. I'm not a doctor. Don't take this as doctor advice. This is just stuff I get online, okay? Um, and if it is, that's great. Um, that means we're getting one step closer. So they're saying even by the end of March, April, we could be done with this. Obviously, we were already 14 days to kill the spread, and 14 days is now two years. But, you know, neither here nor there. I'm always hoping for us to get further and beyond past this and get back into somewhat of normalcy. We're not in a normal bull run. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at is where do we go from here? How do we set ourselves up for success, okay? Number one, and I think most importantly, is you have to be honest with yourself and honest with your buys. What are you actually buying? Are you buying things that you truly believe in? Or are you one of these meme shit coin chasers and now you've got a bunch of money popped into something that ain't going to pump as high or it's going to take forever to grow back up until Elon Musk or someone else tweets about it. So that's one thing that I think you really need to be careful of is buy legitimate projects, watch legitimate channels that give you legitimate feedback and, le and legitimate help. Obviously, none of it's financial advice. This is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing. This is me just trying to help you guys out, okay? And what I do is I invest in projects I truly believe in. Look at a couple other videos, Harmony One, Cardano, all these major major v chains a huge one i really really do like there's so many good projects out there what do you like go ahead and comment and like and put it below a couple other things i do want to go over very quickly is why would you sell now right now we're at a major dip of 30 not 50 percent yet from that all-time high but we're you know 30 40 percent down and right now you're gonna sell you're because you probably just got into crypto recently is my guess because a lot of people were fomoing in um just a month ago and now you're going to sell and lose a bunch of money. There's no point in doing that. So hold on. Let's see where this plays plays out. We real everybody thinks it's still going to go back up. Now, does that mean it's going to go back up? No. If it starts getting and closing be weekly charts below the Gaussian line or below the Gaussian channel, and then below like kind of that 40k mark, well, then we probably need to have another discussion about should you be selling some of these things off because maybe we are in a bear market. Again, I don't think so, but that's just me. That's my feeling. That's my opinion. What you have to do and what you've really got to look forward to is. As we go through these bull markets and as we go through the next four or five years, start taking profits earlier. People are not taking profits earlier. These major dips happen all the time. Again, another one just, uh, one just happened, I just said, in April to July. It dropped over 50% and everybody says it's dead. We're in a bear market. We're in the Gaussian channel. We're touching it. We, we got in it. We're out of it, whatever. And everybody's selling. And then three months later, everybody, four months later, everybody's buying again. Now, here's the thing. That's probably most likely what's happening now again, especially with this new um, variant coming into play and the holidays and, you know, the FUD coming out, all that stuff. But again, if you don't believe in it, you're just buying this crypto because, you know... Your friend's neighbor's kid who's down in his basement drinking Slurpees all day, playing Call of Duty, and yells at you, you know, through his headphones is telling you to buy it. Well, then, yeah, you deserve to lose money because you're an idiot. You know what I'm saying? You are an idiot. Don't get into it because you truly don't believe in it. Do some research. Watch some actual channels. Get into it slowly and then diversify your portfolio so then you feel better about what coins you like, what coins you don't like, okay? Um, next Start taking, like I said, start taking those profits sooner. Start taking them earlier in the bull run so then you're, you're less likely to get scared, sell off um, early and lose a bunch of money or lose a bunch of gains that you potentially could have had because you're no longer in the market. So slowly take those profits earlier and write stuff down in pencil. Be, be okay to raise it, but write it down so it's in front of you. If you don't have some sort of strategy, what a, a, no strategy at all is a strategy to lose. It's that simple. You have to have something. It's your money. It's your livelihood. It's how you feed your kids, how you feed your family. You know, a lot of this stuff is very important to people. So not having a strategy is asinine. You shouldn't be investing your money into anything where you don't have a strategy on what you should do to get your money back or double it or triple it. I think investing is the best way to probably make more money um, throughout a very long career, especially now when we have things like crypto and the internet and these digital assets. But 
if, if you don't have a plan, that, that is not going to work out well. I can tell you that right now. Most importantly, stop trying to 100x everything. Stop trying to 50x everything. Could you possibly hit a coin once in your lifetime that does a 20x in the first you know year or first however long? Yes, it is possible. But a lot of these people have a lot more knowledge and a lot more you know background information that you'll never get until you see these coins pump. So again, just because someone tells you that it's going 100x, it's probably not, okay? Otherwise, we'd all be rich and we'd all just pick the right coins. So again, don't look for 100x coins. Maybe throw a couple, you know, a little bit of your portfolio into these coins and see if you can turn a thousand bucks into, you know, 30 or 40 grand, something crazy like that. But that is not the norm and that is not what's usually going to happen because usually when people start FOMOing in, those are the coins they're looking for and those are the prices and the Xs they're looking for, which is just dumb. Finally, in my opinion, opinion one of the most important uh guidelines to go by and what i what i go by in my new crypto journey is the four-year dead period if you're not trying to get into crypto and you're not trying to be in it for at least four years you're probably going to be dead and i and by not you personally not you personally i mean your money your financial decisions are going to be dead because they're going to be based off the speculative plays are going to be based off speculative coins you're going to listen to someone to fomo out and you're going to get rid of your coins way too early so again Four years, if you're not willing to give at least four years of your time to make money to learn about these coins, don't get into it. And invest into other things, into other into properties, into real estate, and go, go in the stock market, get an ETF, get into something a little bit less risky. But if if you get into this thinking that, hey, I'm going to 50x my money in the first year, you are going to end up losing money. You're going to end up trading it and moving it here and here, and you are going to be disappointed for probably the rest of your life, and you're going to hate cryptocurrency as far as disappointed about cryptocurrency. And that's truly not what it is, and that's not what anybody's telling you to do. So again, make good decisions. Stop being an idiot. Listen to people you truly trust and good things are going to happen. Crypto is one way that we can truly fight this infl inflation. It is one way where peer-to-peers can keep their own money and can keep their own balance and they can keep it stored in their head. It is phenomenal what cryptocurrency is eventually going to do. But with FOMOing in and driving prices up and people thinking they can 100x, this is, this is not great for crypto because people aren't actually understanding the end goal here. So again, guys, take a chill pill. Go a little bit slower at it. Everything's going to be fine. We're not in a bear market. At least I don't think by my opinion we are. I think this is a normal correction. I think we're probably even going to go lower from here. I hope not. I hope we shoot right back up. But I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we even go to that 45K mark somewhere around there. And then we start climbing back up to new all-time highs. So again... I hope you guys got something out of this video. I, we really, tr truly do try to bring you guys the best up-to-date knowledge as possible in what we're doing. All I can tell you is what we're doing, what Joe and I are doing with our money, and what we're doing with our investing strategies. That's all I can do. None of this is financial advice, as always. If you guys have any questions, any comments, shoot them, um, shoot them down below. We will make sure we get those answered. And we appreciate you guys being with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. Thank you.